Hey Michelle and Jeff, this is Shami with uh, Southtown Chrysler here. Just want to send you a little walk around video. Sorry for the delay, it's really just been an excruciatingly busy day. It's just one thing after the next. Uh, so I finally just got some opportunity to come out on the lot and do a little walk around. Now this is uh, honestly my, my pick for the truck. Uh, it's going to accomplish everything that you need uh, to have in the vehicle itself. And honestly, it's, it's lucky enough in one of those nice paint colors uh, that is super desirable, really hard to find. And, and I just wanted to make sure I could kind of show you that one because it is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, and it's called Max Steel. Uh, so maximum steel paint color it almost looks black but literally you kind of have to look at the paint and you can see that it is actually a really really dark blue uh, really really pops now obviously this is going to be on our classic and this is the night edition okay so i'm going to give you a little walk around on this one now you will notice on the front end here you have the nice blacked out grill the nice uh, sport hood as well up there uh, but at the same time, you do have the uh, the color painted bumpers on the front and back. So that is one of the nicest things I do like about the actual uh, uh, night edition package, uh, including the black badging and obviously kind of the black wheels. So it gives it a really, really nice appearance. Uh, but you'll see that this one does have the 5.7 Hemi. Uh, it does have those side steps that are super important to you guys. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a really, really sharp package, really nice truck. Now this one, I know you had mentioned, you know, quad cab or uh, or, or regular cab. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's always nice to, to build on a crew cab, right? So I do have a crew cab here. So uh, at the end of the day, when it comes to the box in the back, you will find it's gonna be your standard short box. Uh, now this one doesn't have the actual spray in liner in here at this point. Uh, so do let me know if that is something that is very important for you because we do do that in-house at the store as well. Uh, you see the nice blacked out uh, side steps as well, which is super cool. Now, any vehicle that comes on our lot, we always put some extras on it. Uh, and that includes obviously what's known as our, our, our Alberta prep package. So with the Alberta prep package, uh, you do get the battery blanket, nitrogen in the tires. You'll get tub style mats. And those are the mats that kind of cup uh, the sidewalls of the interior as well. So it's kind of like Dodge's upgraded WeatherTech looking mats. Um, really, really nice. They are the high end ones that we offer. Um, and at the same time, you do get those locking wheel nuts as well. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, it's just some stuff that I feel like, you know, for Alberta roads, it's just kind of something that you want to have in every single vehicle. So we do add those on to every vehicle we have in stock. Uh, but I do want to show you something really nice here too. Obviously, you do have that really nice Ram badge in the back, the dual exhaust. But that uh, very important tow package is all set up for you, including the wiring there. So that is a super nice, uh, nice touch. Um, now you will notice that this one does not actually have, uh, and, and we are not Camrose Chrysler, by the way. We just uh, do a lot of, a lot of trades with a lot of other stores, and uh, we are fortunate again to have a pretty nice big uh, new inventory. Um, but it does not have the actual uh, uh, rear slider in the back with the window. But let me do show you the uh, the really nice space that we have. So you see those rubber mats are just sitting right in here right now. You do have a nice kind of dual texture, uh, dual colored uh, cloth seat uh, with obviously the different textures, right? So it's not just kind of your, your basic flat uh, cloth. I mean, they've definitely put a lot of effort in making this really, really nice. Um, here, let me zoom out a little bit here. Uh, but the nice thing about these ones as well is if you do need a flat surface, obviously, depending on kind of what the uh, cargo is in the back, you can fold this up and essentially, if I do move the seat up a little bit more, you'll notice that it'll fold completely flat and it gives you a nice sturdy surface. So that is super nice, obviously, depending on what kind of cargo you do have. Um, and it's an easy enough as just flipping it down. Now, in the back, sorry, as well, let me just show you really quick. You do have a nice 12 volt DC outlet, which is super cool. Now on both sides, you're gonna have something over here that is essentially some additional storage, which is really nice. So I don't know, kind of you go on some vacations, you wanna throw some ice in there, you wanna throw some beer in the back or, or some uh, beverages. Uh, it's nice to know that you have it back there uh, and all in one place. Uh, but you will notice the passenger seat is gonna be a manual adjustment. Again, the seat itself is, is, is really nicely bolstered as well. Uh, but you do have a little cubby in here, which is super nice in the front. Now this one does not have the sunroof. 
obviously with the sunroofs i mean it is something typically people will use maybe once or twice in a year to be honest with you i just blast the air conditioning um i can get you a vehicle with sunroof absolutely uh the only difference is is a lot of times you'll find that the package uh does increase when you have to go with the sunroof so i mean i'm a big believer in kind of spending your money on things you're going to use versus things you're not going to use uh so i definitely wanted to show you this one now I do want to also let you know you have some USBs and auxiliary plug back here. Uh, and this is a dual glove box, right? So you got two compartments, really, really nice and deep, obviously nice and uh, nice little storage nooks there in the corner. Um, this also does have a 150 watt uh, AC plug-in. Now that is super nice, obviously, if you are doing any kind of camping or, or just say someone's driving and you got a little bit of work you need to get done or maybe Jeff's got some service clients he needs to follow up with. Uh, you can literally plug your laptop, plug your iPad, plug your computer in there. Um, now you will notice on this vehicle, it has a one touch uh, driver and passenger windows. This does have a power seat on the driver's side, which is really nice, including your lumbar. Um, and I mean, at the end of the day, let me pop in here really quick. So one of the first things I test is the air conditioning and it is really, really cold. So let me just turn that down. Um, Cause you know what, at the end of the day, it's a vehicle. Sometimes with vehicles, if the heat doesn't work, I definitely want to make sure that's fully uh, explained and, and kind of looked after. Obviously being a new vehicle, it's easy enough to just pop this into service. Uh, but I still wanted to make sure I show you that the AC does work and it blows ice cold. Uh, you do have a nice LCD screen just in the back there as well. So really, really nice. I mean, you can kind of customize this to your wits end with different options and, and different kind of screens to look at with your trips, odometers and whatnot. I typically like to keep it on the uh, the digital display. Uh, I kind of find that that's really nice. But here's a nice thing is obviously you do get the nice upgraded leather wrap steering wheel. Uh, it does feel really nice in the hands as well. Nicely bolstered. Um, this rear view mirror as well, you'll notice is the uh, uh, upgraded one. It has the SOS and the assist buttons included in. Uh, so essentially that would just be referring to the roadside assistance features. Um, now when it comes to the gear shifter, it is a digital uh, electronic gear shifter. You do have two wheel drive, four wheel drive low and a, and a four wheel drive lock setting. Um, but here's the nice stuff, the creature comforts, right? So you do have heated steering wheel. Um, you do have heated seats, which is really nice for the front. Uh, you do have a tow haul mode as well. Um, and it just does have the nice 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen. Um, and the really, really cool thing with something like this is like, even on the backup camera, you know, if I do turn the steering wheel, the lines do move. It is an adjusted, uh, adaptive backup camera system. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's all touchscreen, super easy to use. Uh, now this one does not have the, um, uh, this one does not have the navigation itself, uh, but at the end of the day, it is nice to know that you do have a power uh, mirror dimmer in this one, uh, and you do also have the ability to have your Wi-Fi hotspot, so that's really nice. Um, but you know what? Here, the kilometers on this one, just so you know, are 136 on the odometer. I'm just going to pop this in a drive really quick and just do a quick little cruise. Try to give you a little virtual test drive here. Now the windows are up, so the one thing I do want to mention is how quiet it is. So I mean, they've done a lot of noise isolation, uh, especially from your uh, current RAM. So you'll notice that the interior itself, like when it comes to acoustic glass or when it comes to more insulation within the doors, uh, you'll find that overall they do improve their vehicles year over year, just even on the small things maybe people don't actually see. Uh, but you do hear it. You do hear it on your long drives. Um, and it is something that in the long run just kind of really gives you an idea of how easy this vehicle is to live with. Now, even though it's a V8, even though it's a 5.7 Hemi, and sorry, that's just my seatbelt. Let me trim that. Uh, safety first, right? Let me put that seatbelt on. Uh, but even though it's a 5.7 Hemi, I mean, you would imagine that it might kind of sound really loud and obtrusive, but it really doesn't. It's really nice and quiet, easy to live with. Obviously, if you hammer on the gas a little bit, it is going to go. It is a Hemi. Um, I mean, you kind of get an idea of, of how much power we do have in here. But at the end of the day, it's just a really easy, uh, easy truck to drive. Let's see if I can get a little glimpse from the reflection in there. Oh, not really. It's okay. But, uh, but yeah really really nice i do love the hood on this one too uh it's really nice and easy to use obviously just when you're driving right it doesn't kind of obstruct your vision i know some uh 
some of the older Rams that kind of had these super, super rounded hoods and it kind of, kind of felt like it was a little bit uh, obtrusive at times. But, yeah, I mean, here's a truck. Really easy to drive and now watch, I put my window down, now you can start to hear a bunch of noise. But literally, you close the window up and it really gets pretty quiet in here. So I mean, that is super nice. Obviously, I'm assuming you probably do a lot of trips, a lot of driving, especially with wanting a, a tow package, you know, whether or not you go on any kind of family vacations and whatnot. It'd be really nice uh, after a while, you know what I mean? To just realize how nice and quiet it is. I'm sure the kids will be sleeping in the back. Um, but at the end of the day, really, really easy to live with. Let me just park this one right here. So you know what, Michelle, that is pretty much it. Now, let me do one more thing because you did mention, I believe that the sound system is, it's pretty important to you. I mean, you want to have a decent sound system. Now this one does. So let me just find a station that's got a little bit, a little bit of bass or something, right? Now watch, we just go to settings. We go to audio, equalizer, trim the mid down a little bit, trim the treble up a little bit. Put the bass up a little bit too. I'm just gonna put it up just a little bit. So I'm not even halfway there and it's, I can already feel the bass. Like literally, I wish I could even show you the vibrations. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell the vibrations on there. <laughs> So really nice sound system. It's super clean, crisp quality. Um, but overall, Michelle and Jeff, I, I really, really hope you did like this truck. Uh, as I said, especially this Mac steel color, like this is a really, really unique color. Uh, definitely does pop and I actually think it, it, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Uh, but definitely do let me know what you think about it. Um, obviously, this is one that I could definitely build you numbers on. And as I mentioned, side steps, check. Uh, the tow package in the back, check. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the tonneau cover, I mean, we have tons of tonneau covers in stock. Obviously, that's a really, really easy one for me to put in. But you can understand that, you know, that's not something we put on every one of these trucks or we would have a lot of cost into our vehicles, that's for sure, because not everyone needs a tunnel, right? But at the end of the day, I truly hope that you did like the video, you did like the truck, um, and I hope at the end of the day, it kind of helps really kind of showcase, uh, you know, how the appointment's gonna go on this Saturday and, and, and just overall make this a nice and seamless experience for you guys. Uh, so do let me know what you think, 780-932-7597. Thanks so much.